Hi and welcome to another video of Curious Human. I am Shivam and for all who are here for the very first time, we here review and unbox RC cars and all kinds of budget drones. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any of the future videos. So today we are going to review a drone from a company which is coming out with their very first drone and they have approached me to review this drone. That company is actually in the market for like couple of years and they sell uh, action cameras, security cameras uh, and now they recently ventured into the drone market and I am here talking about the company Kueu or Kuwau, however you want to pronounce it. So let's go ahead and review this. So today we are going to review the drone FX9P from the company Kueu. Um, apparently this is their very first drone so they are already under a lot of pressure to perform and let's put it to the test. So this drone is actually a foldable drone with brushless motors, 4K camera and optical flow positioning system. I have had this drone for like for last month and I have tried it into the open field with the heavy wind and also in the park and I have a pretty good impression out of this. I've also figured out a really cool thing about the drone and the motors that I'll be discussing at the end of the video. So please don't forget to watch this video till the end. So this drone will cost you about 250 bucks on Amazon and I have put the link in the description so don't forget to check it out. So with that 250 bucks you get the main drone. Uh, it comes with a foldable arm design which is really good if you're planning to take this while traveling. It comes with four brushless motors which are more powerful than the regular brushed motors which eventually wears out. It also has a 4K camera which records a video in 1080p and captures photo in 4K. It also has SD card support and very important uh, optical flow sensor which is also used for positioning alongside the GPS on board. It also comes with a transmitter which has all the important buttons laid out on the remote so you don't have to worry about uh, you know you don't have to learn the app to fly the drone actually outside um, it, is, it is a dual antenna remote it is really comfortable because it comes with a foldable arm uh, just like a ps4 uh, it is really comfortable in your hand the both joystick looks really good and firm um, there are four buttons in the front two for camera up and down. There's also a button for speed control. There are three speed modes, slow, medium and the fast, depending on how comfortable you are with the drone flying. You can choose the speed uh, of the drone. You also get an extra pair of propellers for all four motors and a lot of screws with a screwdriver. It also comes with two battery packs, which are removable from the drone. Uh, they both are 7.4 volt 1600 milliamp hour batteries. They are lithium ion batteries and they both are rechargeable via USB micro cable that also comes with it, which is really good. Uh, the only thing is that the both batteries, they take about 300 minutes to charge and that gives you about 22 minutes per battery of flight time, which I think is a long time to charge, but looking at the price range, it's a good option to have. Everything comes in a very, very fancy bag uh, which packs everything and it's a very lightweight and a very sturdy bag and I am impressed with the overall packaging. If you are new to drone or if this is your very first drone, you don't have to worry. It is very easy to control this drone and get this drone in the air. All you have to do is just open manual, scan this barcode and download the app. It is available for both Apple and Android. Once you download the app, just open the app turn on your drone, connect your phone to the drone's Wi-Fi. In Android, there will be a pop-up which says that this Wi-Fi doesn't have internet. Do you want to stay connected? Say yes to that. Go ahead and open your app. Is the compass calibrated? Say no if you are flying it for the very first time. So it will show the sequence on the app, how you should rotate the drone so that it can calibrate itself. Once it is done, you will see the video feedback from the from the drone right now you can turn on the remote by pressing the power button you will see the blue led which is blinking which means the remote is on but it is not connected with the drone to connect that with the drone all you have to do is press the left joystick up and down and you'll hear this sound sequence 
which means the remote is connected and now you can see LED is solid and to now start flying all you can do is just move this both joystick to the center the motors will engage but it is still not flying it is still on the ground and to the fly you can either push the throttle joystick up or you can just use the single takeoff and landing button it literally takes 15 minutes from the box to get the drone in the air so the box to air time is about 15 minutes provided that the battery and the remote are fully charged now let's look at the app so very first button on the upper left is waypoint waypoint is basically you just tell the drone that you go on this five points and come back to me and uh, this app allows you to select five waypoints at the max so for that all you have to do is you tap on the app it will come up with the route you press the third button which is sending information to the drone and once the data is sent to the drone you press the button and the drone will take off to the first waypoint then second third fourth fifth and once it is done at the fifth it will hover at that location the second button is for the gyroscope calibration all you have to do is just press it once the LEDs on the drone will blink and it will say the calibration is successful the third button is return to home and that is used if you have less battery or you don't want to control while landing the drone you just press and also when you are not able to see the drone you just press the button return to home and it will come and hover at your head or at least at the starting point the fourth button is actually single press surrounding which is one of the very cool features is that if you are at the top of a hill or you want a panoramic sequence of the surrounding all you have to do is just press that button so the drone will read the location of your phone and it will take that as a center and will rotate around it the other is follow me feature if you are off-roading and you want to take a sequence of a drone following your car or let's say if you are riding a bicycle and you want drone to follow you and take the video of your then the follow me button is really good option so that you can focus on whatever thing that you are doing and the drone will do its work the really cool feature that i absolutely absolutely adore is the zoom button and i have never seen this button in any of these other drone and this is not a regular zoom if you press the zoom button it gives you 50x zoom which is really impressive it's a software zoom of course so it will pixelate if you are at the maximum zoom but that's a really cool feature to have don't you agree now it's time for the really cool feature that i've been waiting for and i've never seen this feature in any of the other drones that i've flown so far not even in the dji for the matter of fact so have you seen the dji drone it has a lot of camera on the board right but you can't really see the video feed out of all those cameras except the main camera that is used for photography right but in this drone the optical flow sensor the camera which is underneath here you can actually get a feed out of it and let me show you how there is an icon at the top which looks like a camera so if you tap at that icon and for the very first it's the main camera feed if you go for the second and here's the surprise you get the feed out of the optical sensor camera which is underneath and that is 720p which is also really good I feel which really blew my mind because I always thought that the companies which sell drones uh, with the optical flow sensor it's just a selling point but Kuwao actually made it available for you they actually made the video feed available to the users and, and now I feel that I get the value out of what I've paid so that's a really cool feature well done Kuwao I found another really good feature from this drone from this app and that is you can quickly edit the video and the photo from the drone with filters yes you heard me right with the filters so for that all you have to do is click on the button which says MV if you go for the very first one here they are like they they have actually provided filters you can choose whatever pleases you there's also a 50 50 option which basically provides you the the options of about how you want to see the video right if you want to see it split in screen which is really cool I mean I've never seen this in any of the other drones in any of the apps that I've used so far 
I don't know the use case of it, but why not? It's there. You can also mix with, let's say I choose three and then I go into the filter and I choose this. <laughs> right? I actually love the features that they have packed in this app. I know, I know you are waiting for that bonus point about the motors that I found out. So while I was flying this drone in the park, I realized that the drone is unusually silent. And I thought maybe it's because of the noise, surrounding noise from the kids playing in the park or the cars on the road. Uh, but when I came home, I decided to take a noise test so that I downloaded an app called DB Meter. You won't believe the noise level was just about 60 decibels, which is what you're hearing right now. The conversational noise is around 60 decibels, which actually proves the point that the drone actually is really silent and it won't bother your neighbors, trust me. So we have talked about all the positive parts about the drone. Is there anything that I didn't like about the drone? Yeah, of course, there are a couple of points that I didn't like, or let's say there is a room for improvement. In the Android app, uh, there, is, there are a lot of bugs in terms of where the, the value placements are and the button placement on the app. I would really love to see the updates on the app side, on the, especially on the Android app, because I'm impressed with the iPhone app. And one of the biggest issues that I found in this drone, this drone is from the company Kueu, right? But if you look at the product branding, which is done all over the product, I see Kueu nowhere. What I see is Slavin here, also at the bag, I see Slavin, but when you go for the remote controller, it says explore, but I didn't find Kuau, the word Kuau itself anywhere on the product. So which I think it's a mixed branding signal and it may hurt the company name, the brand name. Coming up with their very first drone, I think they should work on the branding of the drone as well. I personally think the future of Kuau drone is really good because if this is their first drone and it puts them in a really unique position in the market in the same price range, I think this drone is a really good buy. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment in the comment section about what you liked about this video, what you want to hear more about a drone reviews and also something that I forgot to mention, you can write it down in the comment section with your questions. I would love to hear them and I will answer all of them. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye.